Welcome to WatchGuard's Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is shady iOS QR codes. You probably know what a QR code is. It's a specialized digital image that's kind of taken over from the classic UPC or barcode. If you've ever uh, gotten a digital ticket for a plane and you've scanned your, your phone for that digital ticket, that little square digital image is a QR code. And you can create literally millions and millions of unique ones that you can use to represent information, whether it be a digital ticket or a pointer to a URL. In any case, many mobile devices now can read QR codes with their camera. And iOS 11.21 is no different. It actually has a built-in QR code reader. However, a security researcher who posts on his InfoSec blog mentioned that there's a significant vulnerability in Apple iOS's QR code reader. Basically, if you point these readers toward QR code that represents a link, it gives you the option to automatically visit the link. And you can probably probably guess how bad guys could use this for malicious purposes. For instance, I might print out QR code stickers and put them over a legitimate QR code to get people to go to my evil site. However, one of the ways you can kind of minimize this sort of fraud is by actually showing the user the site they're going to before you visit it. And that's what Apple iOS's QR code reader does. It's supposed to actually show you a link to the site, the actual domain and URL, so that you can approve before you visit visit it. However, long story short, this researcher figured out how to create a specially crafted link that can lie to you. It can tell you the QR code points to some legitimate site like facebook.com when in reality it's going somewhere else. So long story short, he found a vulnerability in iOS's QR code reader that allows scammers to lie to you about what site the QR code points to. Now there's no major takeaway for this story yet since we have to wait for Apple to patch this flaw and update their QR code reader. However, one of my practical tips is to be very careful with QR codes. I really try to avoid going to links based on QR codes. Half of my advice to people is be careful for short links or visiting links that you don't really know where they're going. So a QR code can be dangerous in general. That said, a properly implemented QR code reader should at least show you the link it's going to, which will give you an opportunity to make sure it's legit. But in general, I avoid going to links with QR codes. Despite that being one of their purposes, I don't really think it's a useful purpose and I, I don't see many people actually using QR codes to visit links. In any case, if you're an iOS user, be aware of this new vulnerability and look for a patch from Apple. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.